Hi, good morning. My name is Mark, and I'm proud to lead the team at Media One Hotel and Tower. I think we offer a unique proposition as, as an all-in-one, all-encompassing destination. And our strategies are split between the three areas of that destination. So from a business perspective, we, we have 230,000 square feet of office space at Media One. And we are home to over 20 companies who choose to be uh, to have, choose to have us as their home uh, and their employees and they are in companies that are um, local regional and international so our strategy with them is to ensure that we offer an all-encompassing turnkey experience so we don't want the, the landlord-tenant relationship we want engagement level throughout so from a services perspective it's 24 7 security uh, making sure that they arrive hassle-free with their car and using our parking facilities uh, when it's time to go home again that that journey is 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 again easy um, from an engineering perspective we look after the offices we service all of the ac from a housekeeping perspective it's looking after the cleanliness of their offices um, offering additional services as, such as laundry um, and then we look at, uh, from perhaps more from a corporate experience, we, we, we're lucky that we can not only offer them the office space, it's, it's all encompassing for rooms, meeting rooms, uh, and then our F&B. So our strategy with them is, is make them feel at home, make them feel so good, uh, not only the company but the employees. Uh, and therefore they won't search for uh, an alternative location. And luckily from an office tower perspective, we have a very low turnover. Um, from the rooms, rooms we are uh, predominantly a business property um, and our strategy there is to have uh, a sales team with a large portfolio of local corporate companies. We go out to them and, and offer, uh, offer them a lifestyle stay experience for, for their overseas guests when they come to us. And again, moving into the, the third part of our business, which is F&B, one of the things that our corporate companies enjoy when they stay with us at the hotel is that there's lots of restaurants and bars and sort of after work distractions um, that they can, they can take full advantage of. So our strategy is three pronged based on those three areas of our business. So again, it's just managing peak points, footfalls, 800 people coming to work every day. So there's there's the pressure points in the mornings from sort of 7.30 to just gone nine o'clock. And then again in the evenings, probably between five and seven. Um, our, our security team are ever present to make sure that the, the office tower tenants arrive and, and departure experience is smooth. But we're also uh, recently teamed up with with one of our corporate companies, funnily enough, and it's a software company called Ipsatech, a specialist in AI technology. And we've been a bit of a guinea pig for them, and we're trialing their software, and it basically interfaces with our CCTV cameras. And that enables us then to put certain parameters around how, how do we manage footfall. We can sort of say, right, in any area with over more than 30 people, in at any one time, there's an alert, and then our security team alerted to that area to make sure that if there is an accumulation of people waiting for an elevator, it can be done in a, executed in a very smooth manner. We can monitor footfalls per hour. We can monitor footfalls by um, uh, demographic, by age group. And so it's a fantastic piece of equipment. We can identify VIP guests when they arrive. And we can also blacklist those guests who don't behave themselves. So be careful. If you come to Media One, play hard, enjoy yourself. But don't misbehave because our AI technology can now uh, keep track of you at all times. I think, I think it's important to say that um, I, I was having some conversations last week with some, with some colleagues. I think Dubai is second to none in the hospitality, the global hospitality offering. So it's now one of these sought after destinations, not only to come um, and enjoy, but also to come and work. And that's fantastic. And the the Dubai authorities have done a brilliant job in making sure that, that Dubai is, is, is first choice for many, many different reasons. The, 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 hospita the, the competition in hospitality is huge. Um, I think the last count, it's anywhere between 15 and 20,000 restaurants and bars and cafes in Dubai. 
and 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 with a hotel inventory of of of, of, of over 150,000 room nights. So it's it's that keeps us on our toes. Competition's good. Um, we constantly listen to trends. We listen to guest feedback um, all the time to look at how we evaluate our food offerings. We will not compromise on quality. And our uh, Chef Omar, who heads up our culinary team, um, works extremely hard to make sure that all of the produce is of uh, top quality. Um, there have been some logistical challenges more recently uh, for a number of different reasons, but we won't let that uh, negatively impact the quality of the food and the dishes that we're offering. But then again, I think it's also important that, that change is good and we must be very proactive in, in updating and changing uh, our menus. And then another dimension that we've added is um, guest chef visits. So, funnily enough, this week we have a guest chef coming over, a lady called Daniela. Um, she's from Italy and she's coming over to do two uh, supper clubs in Ciao Bella. Uh, and that again adds to the diversity of the offering um, that we can, we, we can offer all of our guests. <music>